Hello everyone and welcome to another Project Life process video. I want to start out by sincerely apologizing about something. As you can see, I have already gotten a good start on this week. Let's just say that I learned a little lesson on what not to do when you're editing process videos. You guys, I am so, so sorry. I lost the first half of this week. So let's just move on. I want to get you caught up here. I have printed out all my photos and I've also printed most of my journaling already on my journaling cards and also figured out where most of my embellishments are gonna go. Let me just start out with the title card. Now this is week four of my Project Life 2017 album and I have used a card from Paisley Press. And it's from one of her pocket guides. And I changed the color of the number there. I made it blue to match some of the cards and the photos in my spread. And then I also used my date stamp, which I have been doing a lot lately. And now I just want to talk about the top photos there. You'll see that there's three photos across the top. And that is a panorama photograph that we took that week when we were out exploring the river. I cropped it in Photoshop to be 18 by four. And then I just printed out each pocket individually. I printed them out in a four by six. As you can see, I've added some embellishments that I have put across two of the pockets there. Now I want to talk about what I'm doing now. I am adding a few word strips to that photo. And that photo is of me holding my phone. And on the next card over, it says, I read past my bedtime on that little wooden circle. But let's move on to this bottom photo here. I took a picture of our lavender bush that was blooming that week. I added on top of the photo some journaling from an Instagram post that I had done that week. And I also added the word joy. Then I went ahead and put that pink chipboard piece there on the bottom of the photo and that photo is now done. I went ahead and did some journaling on that card that talks about reading past my bedtime. It just told a little story about what I do at night and why I read past my bedtime and what I read and, and all that. At this point in my process, I am all the way done with the right side and now I just have to finish off one more card and that's that black and white journaling card, the four by six one. And I'm looking through my stamps because I want to add a stamp on the top. And I have pulled out a pink tab that I'm going to add at the top. And then I plan to stamp something. And then also I want to add another stamp on the bottom. So I'm just looking through my stamps trying to figure out what I want to do. And on this card I am going to talk about our little family adventure down by the river. And it's been raining so much lately that there's water in the river now. So it was really neat to go down and see because it's been five or six years since there's been water flowing. And so we went down and we walked along the path and we threw rocks in and we just had a good time. So now I have my journaling onto my card and I'm gonna go ahead and get everything finished up here. I'm gonna play around with 
the thought of putting some washi tape on the top of the journaling card and then I'm going to put the label on top of the washi. So I just want to put some down, see how it looks. You'll see in a second here that I decide not to go with the washi tape and just put the label down by itself. As I mentioned earlier, I'm going to put a stamp on the label there on top, and it's a circle one. I think it says today's story. It's one that I use all the time. I believe it's from the storytelling kit from Allie Edwards from her class. As you can see, I am going to go ahead and put a star next to the stamp there on the top. The next thing that I'm going to do is I am going to put another stamp on the bottom and this one says frustration level. And so I'm going to stamp that on the bottom and then the idea was to put some numbers down representing my frustration level about the little situation that we had going on that day. I went ahead and grabbed some numbers. I didn't know what color I wanted or which ones would fit in that space. So I'm looking through. At first I was going to go with these blue ones. And I pick out the number, I think 94 or 95 or something like that. So I'm going to stick them down. And in the end, they're going to be too big for this space. There wasn't enough free space around the numbers. So I'm going to switch those out here in a minute. These cork numbers turn out to be the perfect size and color. So I'm going to go ahead and put those down now. And I think I went with the number 94, meaning 94% was my frustration level. And as I'm putting down these numbers, I want to talk about couple of the other photos that I haven't mentioned yet. The one that's kind of covered up with the numbers is a picture of the treasures. There you can see it now. That the kids found on our walk on Friday. So they had me hold them of course so they could go find more treasures. So I just took a picture of them in my hand to help me remember that they always ask me to hold their treasures. And now I'm done with my last journaling card there. That'll do it for my week for you guys. Again, I'm so sorry for missing out on the first half of my process video. So please forgive me and come back next time. Make sure you subscribe. And here are a few close-ups. I've also put a blog post together and I'll link that below in the comments so that way if you want to check that out as well you can. Okay guys, thanks for coming. See you next time.